Hey everybody, uh, this is Adam. I'm going to show you how to uh, use a screen recorder. Um, hi, here I am. Uh, so first thing you got to do is open up Google, type in Flashback Express Download, Flashback Express, There's an express version and a pro version. The express one is free, and that should do everything you need it to do. The pro one is not. Click, uh, oops, yeah. Downloads, Flashback Express. Let it download. <coughs> to keep. Uh, this will probably go to your downloads folder. For me, it's going to go to my desktop because that's just the way I have it. But open your downloads folder and get this thing called, uh, I think it's BBFBEX5EXE. Uh, no idea why they landed on that name. Double click it. Let it do its thing for a minute. Next, accept, next, next, create shortcuts, yep, next. And next, uncheck this thing, and it says run Flashback Express 5 now, finish. Oops. So, uh, here's what you'll see. You're going to see you've got a player and a recorder. Keep them both on your desktop. This will just take a minute to load up. Okay. So you see it's got record microphone, default microphone, and record PC sound. That's probably what you want. Um, record full screen. You can choose a window, but record full screen is also probably what you want. Uh, I'm guessing you don't want record webcam. Also, if you want to use the webcam, just open up the start menu and hit camera, and here I am. So now it's on your screen and it's just recording exactly what's on the screen, including the webcam. Um, open up settings, and you'll want to have PC speakers, what you hear, default PC speakers checked, and also record microphone in separate track. This way, if you play audio from your PC, it should record it, and it should also record your voice coming from the microphone. Now, if your microphone is near something noisy, or if your computer's noisy, uh, sometimes that's an issue, and you might need to get like a separate microphone, or if you have a webcam with a microphone in it, you can plug that in and, and set it a little bit away from your computer if your computer's very noisy. Sometimes the microphone's gonna pick up junk. Uh, that's just the way it is. Um, let's see. Again, you don't need to capture video from the webcam. Choose the defaults here because when it comes to the type of file, we'll mess with that later. Uh, desktop, you can change these things if you want to, to have it like hide the icons or put just a plain wallpaper. Um, my suggestion is if you have a bunch of files on your desktop that you don't want students to see like the names of them, put them in a folder or something just to be safe. Uh, you don't need this, you don't need that. Uh, I'm going to uncheck these things. So this privacy thing, uncheck them both. They don't need your information. I'm going to uncheck updates as well because this version works. I don't need it updating anything. Uh, unlimited file size is good. Notes, I'm not even playing with that. Uh, you can uncheck show welcome form on startup because you don't need the stupid welcome thing every time. And preload player for faster opening. Um, that should be fine for the advanced options. So, okay. Now, um, let's try recording with this. So, I'm just going to click record. Initializing. To stop recording, press Shift, Control, S. And now we should be recording. Yep. 
there we are. So my computer is going to go a little slow because I'm recording a recording of a recording and whatever. But at any rate, now it's recording through this recorder. You can take this window and just put it to the side. Now you can open up your stuff. Um, do your thing. Get rid of that download. Alright, so anyways, I'm doing some school stuff now, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to close this again. Stop recording. What do you want to do with the recording? Review or save? What I, or discard. What I would do is save immediately. Save. It's going to ask you where to save it. I'm going to put it on the desktop. New recording one. Uh, you save it wherever you know where it's going to be. But I'm putting it on the desktop because that's where I need it right now. So we don't even need to touch this at the moment. Let's look at this new recording one here. So this is going to open up in the flashback software. And then we will save it as an actual video. So new recording one, double click it. Let's see if it works. This is where you, uh, you know, preview the video. Yep, there we are. So my computer is going to go. Looks like it's working perfectly fine. Uh, you can probably do some advanced stuff here. I'm not suggesting it. Do whatever you got to do. If the volume is off, there's a little volume slider thing here. Um, but what you need to do now is export. And you can either click export here or export here. Either way, same thing. And you want to export as MPEG-4. MPEG-4. And then click OK. Now, uh, you want a couple of things here, a couple of settings. Whole movie is fine. 100% is fine. Now, for me, mine's 1920 by 1080 because that's the screen size of my computer. Yours might be different. Doesn't matter. You want it to do 100% the whole movie. Okay? For frame rate, um, full frame rate should be fine. Um, you're not going to really notice any difference. The, the, the mouse might be a little jittery sometimes, but that's fine. For sound and quality, I would bump this up to 100 and then leave sound at 128. That's all fine. Um, for codec, Open H.264 is perfect. That's what you want. So mostly the default settings are fine, but I would put the quality up to 100 because it's not going to make a big difference in size or anything and then export. Now it's going to ask you where you want to save it again. New recording one, export. This will take a minute or two. Let it do its thing. Do you want to view it? I'm going to click no. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this. So now we don't have any of that stuff open anymore. This, if you remember, was the installer. You can delete that. You don't need it anymore once you've installed it. This was uh, the project file. Not the final video, but the project file. You might want to save it, at least for now, to make sure the video is OK. Let's check the video. Yep, there we are. So, so my computer is going to go a little slow because I'm recording and recording and recording, recording and whatever. whatever but it, hey, there you go. Looks like it works. So this file right here, the one I called export, this is the video that your teacher needs. This one you can now delete. Dump it. Get rid of it. This recording you can put into Drive. So what you'll do is open up Google Drive. Whatever folder you've got it that you need to put it in, you'll just do File Upload and uh, select that file uh, right here and then Open. And I'm not going to click it because it's a junk file and I don't need it. But once I click Open, it will copy it to here and it will be on Google Drive. And you can share it with whoever you need to, save it, do whatever you need to do with it. 
All right, uh, I hope that helps some. Hope that helps. If you have any issues, let me know. Send me an email or, or you know, message or whatever. Uh, you know, let, let your boss know somebody needs to get a hold of me, whatever. Um, and I'll try to help you out. Remember, with quality settings, um, the, the settings I mentioned should work. Uh, if you're having a bunch of background noise, your microphone's probably kind of sensitive and it might be picking up the computer itself, which that happens. Um, maybe try to get the microphone away from the computer, physically in a different location. Take the microphone.